All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing some a couple of profiles. I'll do one profile here and one profile here using kind of different methodologies. The first methodology will be kind of finding the circles first and maybe the arcs um, and generating the curve more from that avenue. And then the second one I'll do where I create the sort of form um, and then go back and adjust it um, based on developing the guidelines and circles. I think you probably will eventually, you know, eventually use both of them at the same time, but um, all right, so in this guy right here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I would just get a basic idea of maybe what you want to focus on, like you want to focus on something really intensely uh, in a small part. I think what I'm going to focus on on this one is this sort of area of symmetry here with some idea about circle here, maybe there's circle here, and then taking advantage of this kind of square item here, and then generating um, a curve from that and, and adjusting that. Okay, so I'm going to pick this guy and go to objects and go to the material, and I'll make it just a little bit transparent, right? Maybe not that much, just enough. Um, and I'll go back to my layer, and I tend to like to lock my um, image layer just so I don't accidentally drag it around or select it. Um, and then I'll go to my cut or actually since we're going to be working in the guides I'm going to use I changed the name of mine to medium guides. Um, yours might still be um, the medium below so um, whichever one you're using is fine. Um, go ahead and stick with the format here. Um, and so I'll go ahead and, and double click on here and make that current. And maybe we want, I want to start, I could start here with the line of symmetry, right? So maybe I go to my center line first and I just draw a line that represents sort of that line of symmetry that I'm interested in exploring. So I draw that guy through there and maybe move this down where it's more in the center, kind of get as a place to start. Maybe change the color of that from black. I'll change it to orange, right? And let's check our print display, right? It's on and it's set to 80, so um, it's working. So just wanted to double check that. And then um, now we'll come in and start maybe making some different forms. So maybe I have a rectangle right so I have a rectangle and if I go to the fly out right there's different kinds of ways of making a rectangle corner to corner but I'll just use this one and let's just make a rectangle somewhere about right here right and then I'm just gonna pick this guy and move it so I'll just type move and I want this to be from the midpoint so I need my my midpoint snap running and then intersection or perpendicular is the same in this case, so I've got that guy centered. Um, and then I'm going to draw a circle, and there's a couple of different ways to draw a circle. Like I want to draw a circle that maybe represents the edge of this guy right here. And so um, what you can do, there's a couple of different ways to do it, right? Um, you could just go to the regular circle and kind of guess, I mean, if you wanted to guess that that was the center of it, it looks like it kind of is, right? Like it's like almost exactly the center of it. So I got kind of lucky with that. Um, but center is one way. Um, you could also use um, the three point, right? Um, or you could use the center arc start angle. Um, just try them out and see which ones work the best. Um, right now, let's put these guys on the correct layer so those guys would actually go on guides. So I'm just going to change the object layer, right, so you can see those guys. What's my medium center set to? Oh, I haven't set the, no wonder it's not showing up. So, whoops. There we go. Set that up. Um, and then, let's see what else. So, I'm thinking maybe there's a circle here, maybe a couple here. So I'll go to guides, make that current, and I'll draw a circle, you know, from the center here to here. And then I'll draw another circle, maybe using this as a center and see where it comes out. You know, you could even maybe draw it 
exactly there. And then you really, once you have these sort of moments of symmetry, you want to use this and mirror it. So MI is a shortcut for mirror. And you can just mirror that guy from there to there, right? And you're getting a kind of interesting relationship here too. And so maybe that's a little bit of what you want to work with, right? Um, to kind of get where you need to go. And so then you start to think about, okay, hmm, how am I going to start to work this out? What kind of form um, do I think would be the most interesting? And so talking about tangents and uh, different types of ways of drawing things, you could go into and select, let's go ahead and draw, how about um, a line tangent to two curves, right? So you could come in and pick maybe this guy and that guy, right? And it'll draw that line in there. Um, and then you go ahead and draw another line, maybe from here to there, right? So you're kind of getting that relationship. Um, and then maybe, I don't know, there's another circle, maybe a larger circle that goes kind of maybe arcing around here. So let's do a circle, um, a three-point circle. So you can actually create a circle using um, three points. And right now I've got ortho on, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, go ahead and draw a circle kind of from there to there, right? So kind of starting to get a little bit of bits and pieces of what I want. And so now Let's go ahead and pick these guys and I'll put them on the cut layer, right? So you're starting to get an understanding of what's going on and maybe this guy runs around, maybe this represents, maybe this comes and cuts over here. So now you're starting to sort of build build the profile, build the sort of outline. So I'm going to draw a line from this intersection here and maybe tangent to that guy right there. And then you don't have to use the object layer. You can always use match. MA is a shortcut for a match layer. And you pick the layer you want to change and then you pick the layer you want to change it to and it'll do that. Um, and then I can use a three-point arc, you know, to sort of trace over this guy. And then however you want to do it. Oop, didn't get quite get it. Let's go ahead and do it again. One, two, and kind of have to get it at the right place. There we go. I got this one over there, but now I've got that one and I'll change that object layer. So anyway, several different ways of doing things. Um, and then let's go ahead and draw. I feel like I want to draw a line maybe from the center of this guy to perpendicular, you know, or let's just do shift there and maybe an arc here. Let me go ahead and go to the cut line since I'm working in that. And then maybe another arc here that sort of traces this guy. And then I can trim, then I can fill it. So F shortcut for fill it, these two guys out. And then let's go ahead and um, match. that guy. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of a form. Uh, maybe this comes back and starts to cut out, otherwise it's going to get really kind of wide here. Um, so where it comes in. So now you're just, I feel like this is, is a little too complex right in here. That's pretty articulated. You could go ahead and try to 
go ahead and do that um, and see how it works. Um, but let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's go ahead and do another couple of arcs here. And then maybe here, here, maybe a little there. And maybe well, maybe we do another line tangent right from here to there. Right, and then um, finish that off with a three point arc connecting these two guys. Right, um, and then let's take a look. I don't know how we want to end this guy out. Um, maybe it has a little arc here, right at the edge of that. So, um, pull this one out. And we can make that one symmetrical. Again, do a mirror from here to here. And then let's take a look at it. Let's turn the image off, right? And we're starting to get, you know, a bit of a form. Um, you could also turn off your circles, you know, off your guides. So if you turn those guys off, then you're starting to kind of see that form and then start to critique it. You can also start to see where you have inaccuracies. Um, so you can turn back on your guides and see, you know, hmm, what happened there? Okay, so we have a tangent and a tangent and they don't, don't quite meet, so that's fine. I mean, you can fill it that, so F shortcut for fill it. Um, this seems to be getting a little fussy in here. Maybe this guy just comes straight in and rolls around that, right? Um, so let's try that. Let's delete that. We'll delete that. And then um, maybe we just extend. Oops. that guy to there, right? And let's see if we can do a arc. Let's do a quick three point arc right here. Right. And maybe, I mean, maybe this guy is just getting a little too fussy over here, right? That little hanger offer. Um, so you can start to make decisions, you know, like that, so let's delete that and let's just trim this out or fill it this out. Right? And maybe that is what we're set with, right? And so that's kind of a circle and then generating the um, individual um, arcs and pieces from that. Um, when I come back, I'll do um, an example of Boolean, of curve Boolean using the same sort of um, group of curves.